the second move crisis, which occurred in May of 1985, was a lose-lose situation for everyone, for move members, for residents of Osage Avenue, for the city, for the city's image across the world. When people saw on their televisions an entire city block burning, seeing a helicopter dro drop C4 explosives on a house, this image terrified people, shocked people, horrified people. I'll never forget it. The city police fired 10,000 rounds of ammunition into the house. No one was charged for the killing of 11 people, six children. No one was convicted. No, no one served jail time for what had happened. It was almost as if the incident was swept under the rug, or, or it, it was something that we were simply to forget about, that no one was held accountable for this tragedy.